Hi everyone, it's coming on for a little play with the um, birthday bonanza buddies. So this is a bonanza buddies stamp set. Okay, so I'm just setting up my laptop so I can see anybody that's chatting. It's just an off the cuff. Um, video today. I thought I'd um, come on and... Oh, hello Deborah, how are you? I'm coming on to case the mini catalogue and have a little play for a, wee, a little while. So I'm going to recreate this card using different colours. These are all the coordinating colours for this suite. However, I am going to be using some grey as well. Um, right, let's see. I'm just trying to get my my live video up on my screen properly. I'm going to use Smoky Slate for the little um, koala bear here. Okay, let me just fix my light and tuck my cable away. I'm charging the phone at the same time. So... Just bear with me, guys. Right, now. Let me see. Dum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Can't remember how I've done this the last time. Okay, right, I might as well get started. I'm going to do a Grapefruit Grove card base. Okay. Don't know where my comments are going to be. Hi Kirsten. How are you, my lovely? Are you alright? Um still trying to figure out how to get this um showing up on my laptop. E, I am not sure. I'm not sure, not sure. I did it before and I was able to see all the comments and whatnot fine. Um, but not for today, for some strange... Oh, there we go. View on YouTube, that would help. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go with a 4 and one eighth by 5 and 7 eighth size card. Okay. I'm going to do a wisp of white layer that I'm going to stamp and hand stamp it and then we're going to do some die cutting etc so I do want let me see I want it to be 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths Right, okay, I'm getting there with this laptop. Okay, and I'm just giving it a um, quarter of an inch border. Um, we're going to stamp on this and then we're going to layer up with some die cut rectangles. So I'll pop that to the side. Okay. And then I do need to do some fussy cutting. Oh, did you just watch my other video? <laughs> I'm on fire today. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use... Let me see. I think I'll use... Um, I'm going to use a little star here. That's for the, the top of the hats and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some random stamping. So let me get a little scrap piece of paper. Don't want it all over my desk. Okay. Right, now. Let's do some... Let's do some presents first. And then we can do some hats and whatnot. So I am going to go with Mango Melody. Good morning from Everett. How are you? You all right? <laughs> yeah, ping me a little email, honey. That would be smashing. 
Right, I'm just going to um, randomly stamp some presents. Okay, like so. Not too fussed about getting it perfect, it is the background. Alright, so I'm just popping all my stamps away as I'm stamping. What we need is this long um, bow that goes on top goes on top of this present okay so I think I think I'll use Bermuda Bay for that oh thank you I'm feeling feeling better I'm to be honest I'm really struggling today but I just don't want to lie down to it today so um I thought I'll, I'll come on and I'll do a live on um, YouTube and distract myself from complaining about feeling crappy. <laughs> yeah, it started raining here as well, Cindy. Hi, Mary. So lovely to see you here, ladies and gents. Okay. So, this is the first time I've used this. It's just so adorable. Now, we're going to be popping something on the inside, so... I'm not too worried about over stamping. Okay, so what else do we have on here? I think we'll do some little hats. I just need to clean my block off slightly. Right, I'm going to grab a smaller block for this. Is it the E block that I need? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm learning. Right, and this one I'm going to do Coastal Cabana. Very fun stamp set. So again, I'm just kind of randomly stamping because that's when you have the mostest fun. And um, I've only looked at the catalogue for some initial inspiration. No doubt my card will turn out completely different. Oh, is it beautiful in Ireland? How lovely. When I went to work this morning, Mary, the, the skies were just so, so dark. So dark, it was horrible. And then I was sitting in my cosy office most of the day, so I couldn't really complain. Right, I'm going to use some terracotta tile for the tops of these hats. I'm going to give them a little... Fabulous little um, topper there. What do you call it? The bobble? Look how fun that looks already. It's amazing. You can mix and match your colours as much as you like. I do like um, hand stamping. I really do like it. I think that's quite pretty. Well, quite cute. Yeah, this, the, the colours, Deborah, are so... Um, not my usual mix, um, but they go really, really well together. Okay, let me see what else. I think I'll pop a couple of um, square square presents. And I can use this e-block as well. Now this stamp's got like little um, confetti pieces. Pom-pom, there we go. Or mini starburst. You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm an awful lady for um, forgetting, um, forgetting words. I'm just glad I don't rehearse any videos because I'm... Um, I would absolutely rubbish at it. <laughs> right, okay, let's stamp. Oh, that's nice. So this is just to give it a little bit in fill. <laughs> what better way to spend a Monday afternoon? I hope they signal and that's okay. Uh, both of my kids are on their Xbox Lives at the minute, but hopefully it's not interfering with this video. Right, I am thinking... Do, do, do. I'm thinking the Mango Melody for the top of this present. Sweet. Right, let's see how it goes. Well, it's discreet, but it's nice. Da, 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 da. Right, I'm just going to make sure I can see all your comments coming up. 
Yeah, I think my crafty mojo's coming back, albeit I am only doing a couple of cards a week now. Or what seems like just a couple of cards a week, it's, um, it will gradually increase again, so I'm not too worried. Okay, so that's not bad. It's very fun, isn't it? It's certainly bringing a smile to my face. Love it, love it. Now, I'm thinking the coordinating colour of... I'm thinking Bermuda B for my um, three little rectangle sections. Now, I did have the stitch shapes out. Uh, they don't actually have rectangles, though. But I forgot that I bought this um, the stitched rectangle dies. Uh, with my last, the one before my last order. So I'll have a little see what size is because I want three panels. Whoa, look how many there are. I'm thinking possibly, thinking possibly one, two, I'm thinking three of these. Okay, so let me get that scrap out of the way. Let me close this ink because I'll get it absolutely everywhere. Okay, so I do need to bring the big shot um, onto my desk. And it might wobble a little bit. I do apologise. I can't wait till the new machine comes out. Hopefully summertime or something. Right, so what did I say for colour? I said Coastal Cabana, didn't I? Yeah, let me grab a piece of that. So, or pool party's quite nice as well. Is that Coastal Cabana? No, that's, that's not Coastal Cabana, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, Coastal Cabana. I found it, I found it. Okay, I just need to trim a little bit off. And then I'll run, I'll run the um, die cuts through. I hope everyone else is having a nice day. Right, I'm just trimming a little bit off. I thought I could use it in my big shop. I'm just going to clear some space here. Okay, so let's do the first one. I'll we'll just take it up to the edge save on paper. So I want three of these. So there's one. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm actually about spilling the coffee out my cup as well. <laughs> Sometimes you just try to be gentle and it doesn't work. Right, so there's one. If I strategically place this, I could use these negatives in another project. Possibly. So let's let me try and line them up. If not, it doesn't matter. I've got plenty of this card stock in here. Now, back and back. Oh, this does hurt me. Almost spilled my coffee again. Yeah, I know, don't spill the coffee. <laughs> oh dear. It's just um my plate my my um Plates are so wonky, it doesn't go through as smooth. So um, it's my own fault really for not looking after them properly. Okay, so we have three little rectangle die cut panels. Okay, I'll pop this out the way. It has its own little shelf space now, which is awesome. Because I luckily got a hold of a Calax unit that was um, being gifted away on a Facebook group, so I was very lucky to get that, I've always been wanting one. Right, so, put the dies away. So, the card is going to have one, two, three, three bits like so. Okay. And if you see the inspiration I took from the catalogue originally, uh, they've used a DSP in the background, but I'm not quite ready to cut my, my DSP back yet. Um, 
uses an extra piece of card. Yeah, I've never had an issue with them cutting, to be honest. I think my plates are just a bit funny, uh, Kirsten, because they've been, I've been mixing them. One's been the base plate, one's been the cutting plate. Um, but I did buy it second hand about a year ago, so I'm not um, overly worried about it. Um, yeah, so next stage is we're going to stamp three little koala bears. So I need a piece of whisper white. And there is some fussy cutting. Cutting involved, but I am... Um, you know what, I could be doing with some therapeutic cutting. Right, so... What I need is this block. Oh, excuse me, I was just taking a little gulp of my coffee. And we're going to yours. The koala. Isn't he adorable? Absolutely beautiful. And we need three of them. Okay, so we'll place it face down. Like so. I do need to clean my um, stamping blocks, but... I just haven't had a minute. Right, so how cute is he? Right, so I'm just going to push it down. Give it a few wee seconds. Oh, wow. Well, mind you, it's quite scary that now he's not got a face, has he? <laughs> so I'm going to cut out three of these. Sometimes people, um, if they're not feeling very crafty, they often put off card making, but I've been trying to go back to the um, the catalogues for inspiration and it really does help. It really does help. Right, now we're going to need black for the koala's face. So I've got three wee guys there. Um, let's see now. Da, 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 da. Okay, if you're not sure about um, stamping this perfect, you can use your stamper edges. I am going to try my best to stamp it okay. Oh, that looks fine. What a happy little koala. Brilliant. Oh, look. Adorable. We will add a hat on them, but we'll do that last and we'll do that in an alternative colour. Okay, right. I do like the lion in this as well. The lion in his mane, his little freckles. And I do like the pelican as well. Okay, right. I'm going to just pop this black ink out of the way and we're just going to fussy cut. So. Um, it's quite easy. You do get the um, coordinating dies um, with this sweet, but I couldn't afford it all that month. I will get them eventually. Um, but I quite like the fussy cutting anyway. I'm just going to cut it straight across like that for quickness just now. Yeah, it's quite cold here. I've had the um, heating on since I came in from work earlier. And I was so, 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 so tempted to go straight to my bed. But of course I had to wait on the kids coming in and and whatnot. And little Ricky had his piano lesson. And he was in late for that. He must have went the long way home from school. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab a coffee and I'm going to do some live crafting. Well, isn't he adorable? We'll just cut out the excess in the middle. So, on the other card, he's kind of going, he's doing like somersaults. So we're going to replicate that because I think it's a nice look. And then we'll add a little hat and a sentiment to finish it off. You do get the uh, bunting die with this set. You also get... The um, the gift tag die, which is quite a good size too. Um, so that's fab. Hi Amber, how are you? Nice to see you to join us today. 
we're just making the cutest little cutest little um, Bonanza Buddy stamped card lots of fun colours oh. oh yeah you found a koala emoji how sweet so what I'm going to try and do in the channel is um, on a Sunday I do have a Sunday special premiere project that premieres on YouTube at six o'clock at night but if I can in the afternoon um, early or late afternoon I'm going to try and do a live craft along I'm calling it craft along Sunday um, where I'll try and come on and make some cards and have a good old natter and get a good, good catch up with you guys that's why I was really wanting the a thousand subbies on the channel because I think when you do lives you can um, connect so, to so much more viewers because um, not everybody likes to text co uh, comments and stuff like that so and at least you get a live response when you ask me something as well right now <laughs> isn't he cute right so he's they're going to be placed on there like so so what we need now is to stamp and fussy cut out three little party hats for them. Now in the catalogue for the pom poms, um that is actually part of the suite. It's a, a packet of assorted pom poms that you get. I don't actually have that. Um but I'll try and find I think I've got something else that I could maybe use. I'm thinking possibly the perennial essence floral centers because I think they look okay I'll see I might change my mind or I could use a sequence or something like that but we shall decide shortly right now I'm thinking three different color hats I want a bright mango melody I want a grapefruit grove and I think so that's a yellow and orange I think a coastal cabana right let me pop this out the way safely go know what I'm like okay so let's get the little hat out again where is it where is it Okay, pop it in a little block. So I've just, um, when I'm cleaning, I'm just cleaning my, in my uh, chamois to the side, if you're wondering where my hand keeps going. That's where it's going, it's just going to the chamois. <laughs> right. I'm just cleaning in between. I think I will just um, stamp the pom-pom uh, the that comes with the this stamp set. I've missed stamped that one, so ignore that. There we go. So what happens when you don't take your time. Or if you have the stamping mat, you could use that. That will prevent anything like that happening. Okay, right, so the little pom-pom, we're going to alternate colours. So let me pop Coastal Cabana there, Bermuda Bay even. Um, what's this one? Grapefruit Grove. I'll pop on there and then Mango Melody I'll pop on here yeah I think those are um, fussy fussy cut out okay you've got to kind of work with what you've got okay so I'm just closing all these up let's fussy cut these out give it a second to dry the little stamp's cute. Oh, that, yes, yeah, Cindy, sorry, I'm just noticing some comments. Um, that is great. You really do meet a lot of lovely people. That's what I love about stamping up. It's unfortunate that 
other than going to my G day job when I'm able, I don't actually go out that much. I would love to be able to just say, all oh, right, I'm just going to go out and um, go and see such and such, but I can never have the energy. So I decide to craft, which uses less energy. It means you can sit on your bottom and no little to no effort required. <laughs> Right, so, on the last little hat, and of course we will mount these up with um, some dimensions. These snips are awesome for this as well. One of the craft class ladies on Saturday had the tiniest, tiniest little nail scissors, and they, they were tiny, and I thought, my big arthritic... Um, Fingers are going to get stuck in them, but I better not pinch a shot of them. <laughs> right, okay, let's um, let's build the card. So I'm going to have some wet glue on my hand stamped background, and like I said, if you don't have the DSP or you don't want to um, cut it up or um. If you want to save it, like I do often, I hold it for a little while. Um, you can stamp your own background, though. Right. So, I am going to put these flush. Now, this is a bit you need to kind of take your time to make sure that they're as centre and as even as possible, top, bottom and sides. I think that's about right, eh? Okay, and then... The key is try not move the parts once you've popped them down. If in doubt, just use wet glue anyway. And then that gives you room for manoeuvre. Fab. There we go. I like things to be in line. Sometimes when you're looking at your card from me sitting back at an angle, um, often I have to stand up to see if it's actually I've actually placed it down straight, but I think that looks not bad. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to pop the little hats onto our koalas. So I'm just adding the tiniest, tiniest little bit of glue. How sweet is that? <laughs> Thanks, Amber. That's lovely. Oh, these are so cute. Adorable. There's so much you can do with these, um, with any stamp set, really. Just having a play around. Okay, last but not least... And I want to make sure the one with the Coastal Cabana hat goes in the middle. Hi, Carol, all the way from Belgium. Lovely to have you here. Okay, so this one's going upside down, overlapping onto this bit, and this one's going to go here. So... I think that's rather fun. I do like that. Right, now time for dimensions. Thanks, Carol. That's kind. Right, I've got all my stamps away now. I will need it again for a sentiment, which I'm going to put on the inside. Um, I don't really want to be stamping and embossing today. Um, so I will put the sentiment on the inside of the card. So we will need a layer for inside there. So I'm just going to pop. I need some more minis actually. Okay. This is what I do often is I'll, um, I'll staple the half pack to the other half pack, if you know what I mean. Right, so I need some big dimensions on Koala Bear 1. And then some little ones. Isn't it neat how um, these just seem to 
fit lovely. I'm just going to push little holes in them to bring them up easier. Sometimes if you push in the middle, I forgot um, one of my other crafty friends had said, poke it in the middle and the backing will come off easier on these um, dimensions. I'm like, oh yeah, I've heard that before and I completely forgot. Right, let's put this wee guy here. It's a cheeky card, cheeky cheeky. Okay. How many people have we got watching? Nine, oh that's good. Really appreciate you just popping on. Okay, little one there, little one there. Hopefully, at some point this week, I'll get some time and spare energy to try and gel my nails. My nails. Um, look at him, adorable. <clears throat> I think it looks nice if you've got nice shiny, nice shiny gel nails. In your own line. It is very cute. <laughs> it is just adorable. It's just adorable. I'd actually made one um, similar to this, but it was a 5x5 five five card with four square panels layered up. And what I'd done is I'd taken the um, Bonanza Buddies, uh, you know, the mini 6x6 DSP that you get free if you join. Uh, because I didn't have any of these supplies, I just used that as make-do. Um, and it turned out really pretty. Right, let's cut up a piece of white for the inside. I'm running out of this already again. So I want this to be 4 by. Five and seven eighths, four by five and three quarters, even fabulous. Now, the sentiments in these are really pretty. I'm glad it's your birthday, so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Let's celebrate you. And there's happy birthday here as well. What, what another idea would be to kind of stamp tone and tone on these rectangle shapes as well. Or you could leave a gap down here um, and do Let's Celebrate You. Let me see how that would look. I'm coming up with different ideas now. So if I just trim up a piece off screen of um, white, you could always pop that down there and layer it up. I think I might do that actually. We could pop it up here. We're in the middle. I'm not sure. Let me stamp it first and see how I feel. Sometimes you can overthink a card. Right, so I think a nice bright either Grapefruit Grove or Bermuda Bay. I think Bermuda Bay would be too close to the rectangular panels. Oh, you used a white glimmer paper. I've I've got that. I used um I used it for making a I've not stamped that right. Let's try again. I used that for making a a a, a wedding card recently. Um and it's really nice. It's quite discreet, but pretty, but I've not done a lot of stamping on it. Um, how did you find it stamped, Cindy? Was it alright? I'm just going to turn this into a little banner flag. Don't know if I'm using this yet. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's better just without the banner? It's blending too much into here. Maybe I need to pop it there. Well, that looks okay at that side. Um, we used a birthday cake and die cut. Oh yeah, please send me a picture. Um, I've seen some nice projects with the, the die cutting of the um, the birthday cake. 
And on the subject of birthday cakes, um, I really need to start playing with my um, cake builder punch and coordinating a um, stamp set. I'm really trying to make an effort and pull out annual catalogue stamps because, uh, well, I, I get bored quickly. It's not because the product bores me. I just um, I play with something, I put it away. Play with something else, put it away. Buy something else, play with that, put that away. Um, some things I'll play, play, play and then put away. <laughs> oh dear, so... Oh, sorry about that. Someone was trying to phone me there. Right, I'm just popping this sentiment up here. That's good, eh? Right, let's get this middle bit in. I think the husband's coming in. Um, and he's going to want parked in the driveway, so I'll quickly finish up. Sorry, I keep losing you. He keeps phoning me and I keep cutting him off for a reason. Right, so... Men, who'd have them? If he phones me a third time, I might have to answer it and tell him, No, I'm busy. <laughs> right, okay, last stamp of the evening. And it is the Celebrate You birthday sentiment. And I think I want to do this in Bermuda Bay. So, I'll, I'll just um, give my husband a slap later. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to pop that in the middle. Quite often I like to add a few stamped images on the inside, but look how pretty that is. Love it, love it. So that is the Case the Catalog idea. Kind of the same, but a little bit different in that I've used um, my own hand stamp background. So I just want to say thank you so much. Um... Hope I'll see you one day through the week and um, I'll definitely see you on Sunday Live. Okay, ladies, thanks again. Bye now. Oh, how'd you get this off? Hang on, I'm trying to stop this.